Welcome to another edition of Celtics Spotlight. I am Sean Myers of the Carlos Sports Network, joined by a freshman on the men's basketball team, Trey Harvey. Trey, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. So I know you're only a handful of games into your first year, yeah. but you had a highlight already. You scored the first points of the season for Carlo. First five. Yeah, first five. That's a three-pointer, and you knocked down a two-pointer yeah. as well. How exciting was it to get off to that good start? I mean, it was good. The coach, uh, coaches were talking to, talking to me before the game just said, play your game like we recruited you for a reason. So I got out here, and any time I get an open shot, I just, uh, it was pretty exciting. I didn't even know that until I was reading the question. So a year ago, you had not even started your senior year of high school. I'm sure there's a big adjustment between high school basketball and college basketball. What are some of the biggest differences? Well, it's not that much of a difference. I feel like, obviously, there's uh, bigger people. It's a little bit faster. to Since there's only two halves, it's, I don't know, it just feels a little bit faster. But the pace of the game, pretty fast. I adjusted to it already, so, I mean, it's not that much of a difference. What are your best attributes, your greatest strengths on the court? Uh, I feel like shooting is number one. Uh, I feel like I got pretty good court vision. Uh, I still got to improve on a lot of things. Our, te our team is pretty small, so we're based off like defense. Like, we got to be good on defense, so we've been working on that a lot in practice, and it's about myself and working on my defense. Did you set any individual goals for your freshman year? Yeah, he actually made us like write them on the board like before the season started. So. Okay. My goal was to, uh, of course, win because last year the record wasn't so well. So we want to start winning games. Once we do that, I feel like our confidence as a team will build. But for myself, also, I feel like I just wanted to make an impact as a freshman. So, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to complete that goal. I know we're only a handful of games into your first season, but how would you evaluate the team's performance and what areas do you need to be better in? All right, so, so far, well, first game we were pretty rusty. Second game we were pretty off. We actually had a team meeting, like just the players, and not the coaches, and we were talking about like how we all want to win, we want to compete, and be able to uh, not be the same team from last year. So I feel like every game we get better. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're going to be getting better. Coach Kiefer recruited you to Carlo. What are some of his best qualities? He's funny. He's actually he's a he's a funny coach, but you know he gets you can tell when he's serious, and you can tell when he's playing around. But he can ask anybody on the team. He always has like stories to tell and stuff. That's always fun. So I'm sure he played a factor, but what else went into the decision for you to come to Carlo? Um, well, I feel like they they showed like the most like interest in me, and uh, they were telling me like we want you to come play for us. They were, you know, I was I already knew some of the guys like Ernie. He's a sophomore this year. I already knew him coming in, and Dylan. He's a, a senior. I knew him when he played for Bashir. but um. Yeah, and also me and my cousin Gene, we we talked about we could have went our own separate ways, but we we realized like how good we played in high school together, and we uh, both decided to come here. Well, you're talking way. about Eugene Goodwine, mm -hmm. and he was your high school teammate as yeah. well. So how much did you guys kind of coordinate the recruiting process together? Yeah, so when we first like knew we both had like the offer, pretty much, we uh, we talked about it, and uh, we talked about it with our dads and everything. Like I said, we realized how, how good we played together, and uh, winning the Whitfield Championship was like, that opened it up for us too. Like, we can continue, like, changing programs because Nazareth Prep wasn't, Holy Family Nazareth Prep wasn't that much of a good school. And, uh, we, they had, you know, we just we built the team. And, Right, so winning that championship just a year ago, less than a year ago at NAS Prep, what was that experience like? It was it was cool because uh, like we talked about it the whole entire year, like our senior year, I guess it, like the whole team, the coach, we were just like, we want to win this year. Last year, uh, we fell short in the first game of the playoffs, and uh, last year we just, we, we didn't want to lose. Sadly, we didn't get the, we didn't get the uh, Hershey or States, but the Woodville Champions. What's your Excited. major? And what's your future profession ideally? Right now, I'm in business management, and uh, in the future, I just want to be I want to be self-employed. So I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, like, but I, I want to have my own like, business. Be your own boss. Be my own boss. Work for myself. So, do you still plan on following Nazareth Prep and the WPIL this uh, upcoming yeah. season? So we're we're definitely going to do that. So uh, our team from Nazareth Prep, they come to our game still, like. Some of the players come to our games, so we're gonna to try to make it to their games too. We're still in, in, in touch with the coach and the players. Like we're all in a group setting. And everything, so. Yeah. Do you go water, sports drink, or something else before and during a game? Water. Water. Who is your celebrity dream date? I don't know. 
Well, I got a girlfriend. So okay. Gonna, All right. So I'm then, her. she's your she's your dream date, right? Is there a movie or a TV show you can basically recite every line to? The Karate Kid with Jaden Smith. Okay, so the remake then, not the original. Yeah, okay, yeah. gotcha. You ever see the original? Okay, Never seen pretty it. good, but you know. What's your favorite vacation spot or a place you've always wanted to go? Bora Bora. I feel like that's Why that? I've seen a lot of like people going there in a lot of videos. It seemed like a lot of stuff to do. I know it's like real expensive too. Though. It looks like a fun place to be at. Like a week or Hopefully, one day you have your own business and you can you to treat yourself yeah. to Bora Bora. Appreciate the time as always. Congratulations on a good start to your freshman year and keep it up. Thank you. That is Trey Harvey of the Carlos Celtics here on the Celtics Spotlight.